so we are in the city of Kolibari in Crete Island, Greece. Right now we are headed toward the port of Kolibari. Now port of Kolibari is one big port. And trust me, if you are on holiday in Greece, there is just so much you can do. You can rent a boat and if you are lodged around the area of Kolibari, then you have to head to the port. And you're going to find a whole lot of luxury boats and whatnot. But actually this video has been filmed in October, so summer is already done and dusted okay but yeah they are still tourists in the country but if you want to get it down you have to come when it's still very hot because now it's fall right october but anyways let's uh keep talking about what we're here to discuss so yes like i said you can go for snorkeling you can go for fishing you can rent a luxury boat to party at sea sunbathe diving swimming whatever you just want to do but first of all you have to go get the boat or take a look and so you know what you want it just depends on how much you have in your pocket but this is what a typical city in the greek island look like it doesn't matter which of the island you go to like some of the islands you have the green and white uh building vibe like santorini and what, what not but this is crete island and most of the buildings are of this color streets look the same like even the buildings they look kind of the same and you you are in greece you know you are in greece so we are headed to the port right now and each of their ports they have like the professional fishing boats and they also have like uh the business boat people are into the boating business and all of that where you can rent a boat and go for a boat trip uh on the glass boats and you know where you just look at the fishies from the boat and so on you can go with your family even with kids and so on and so forth so this is the port of Kolibari. it is a massive one that contains a whole lot of luxury boats even those massive boats that are traveling around europe and they just leave in their boats and have everything going on in the boat okay so this is the boat here you can see the military boat is also docked here one of the military boats uh, is also docked here in the port of Kulibari, and the fishing boats are also here so like i said if you're someone that you're on holidays and you would love to go for uh, fishing you know fun fishing you know you have boats where you can rent and you can go that you can go for fishing with yourself and you, whomever you're traveling with or if you want to go with people they will go with you if something that okay not everybody knows how to uh drive a boat so yes you can rent a boat where they're going to take you there and you're just going to do whatever fishing or if you're going for snorkeling or whatnot but if you want to just rent a boat where it will be just you your friends or you your partner you and your family they will also explain to you if you're a quick learner you know they can explain to you what to do and you'll be given a map and you'll be told you'll be giving all the information and they will also keep in contact with you as you are at sea so you're not afraid of you being all there by yourself Okay, you can contact someone if something is going in a way that you're kind of being scared or you want to panic you are always in contact with the people that you're renting the book from okay so uh like i was saying here you can see we have the fishing boat this is a massive fishing boat and uh the, the person that owns this particular boat that you just saw right now um now also owns a restaurant where he serves you know crabs fish and uh, name it giant lobsters that he goes to get them himself so as i was filming this video he was walking with his friend i think they were diving looking for some of the propeller i think that went off a boat and so on so i just decided to just add them in this uh, video but anyways like i said if you're in greece in summertime and now something else i have to tell you is people travel there are two major tourists that comes to greece like many others but two major which are some of the people want to come when the country when the season is hot okay so it's very hot in the country and it is full of people it is packed like they just love it with the you know being around other people traveling from other parts of the world and everywhere is crowded and whatnot then you have the older people that come toward the end of summer which you know the the weather is changing it's getting cooler and um you know less tourists and so on and so forth another thing i need to mention is you decide what you want like what you have in mind you ask do your research and know where to rent 
why I said that. Some people love to go for mountain walks. Some people want to go to like places like Samaria Gorge, do that long walk, going to the mountains and valleys and Fairman and whatnot. So all of that, you know, uh, like something that you have to consider. But if you want to be closer to the beach and have the sea, you know, renting a boat, going for fishing, uh, you can easily swim and so on you can do that but even if you're staying close to the mountain you want to take a long trip they also have uh, vehicles available that you can rent for throughout your duration in the country okay some people stay a week some people stay more than that some people stay just few like four five days whatever you can rent a car that can take you from one point to the other and you have it with you so if you want to go to all those beautiful places like the beautiful and famous beaches of Thalassana, uh um you know, just name it. Uh, the very famous one, Elafoni Sea, that's one beautiful pink and white sand beach, and so on. You have that available. If you want to go with this, rent the camel walk and all those kind of stuff. There are so many fun stuff to do in Crete Island. And Crete Island is also very massive. So it depends on what part of the island you are. You can also have different stops and different things to do but yes one question that keep occurring is people always ask can i get a boat in greece is it easy to rent a boat the answer is yes you can easily find a boat if you don't know how to just ask anybody they are very friendly they are willing to help you in any way they can okay if what you're saying the person is not understanding get your translator in your phone and just you know speak to your phone translate and they will read it or hear the uh, what the google says in the, from google translating from your language to greek language and they would describe some people might even take you to a shop you know and tell the person what you need and that way you get what you want but boats are uh, they have a whole lot a whole lot of boats like if you're here in summertime this massive port is filled up and i'm talking about luxury boats and so on and so forth most of the fishermen actually pull out their boats from the water during summer season because the whole lot is going on and even going for fishing people are swimming everywhere and all of that so you're not even allowed to drop your nets in some area so most of the fishing men have their boats just docked or they bring out their boats out from the water and the whole of this Kolibari port is filled up with beautiful 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 sailing boats luxury boats which I don't even know how to describe all of this but yes right now you can see it's october so yes most of the boats are out of the water and just very few boats like today i saw a fishing boat going with you know taking some people out and some other people were having a walk and if you're also someone that you want to like be close to a port because they have like coffee shops restaurants and they have also like hotels and apartments close to the beach around this beach line so now you have also like very big hotels and you have like small apartments and where you can rent a room, Airbnb and whatnot. So you can easily access the port and you can just come out from where you're lodged, you know, from your lodging place and just get a boat and go out for uh, fun fishing or get a boat, go out for snorkeling because the water is so beautiful. It is talk west and, where, and it's so clear. So going for snorkeling is something that you will love and you will enjoy. Okay. Okay, so try that if you are in Greece. Also, if you're someone that loves fun fishing, then yes, you can do that. You join them on the boat and you guys just go out and just fish and have fun and swim and sunbathe and, you know, get your tan and everything and then come back and just chill. And as you're just getting to the port, coming down from the boat, if you're hungry, you can just, you know, walk few meters and you have those uh, restaurants that are lined up around the port there you can just eat and just walk few meters to your hotel where you are lodged that's the fun of it but if you're someone that loves that and the whole if you're someone that loves a long walk then you can also do that go for the mountain walk and all of that thank you very much